Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alan Paul, and we're going to be doing the... We're going to continue our normal playthrough on the 4.2, but we are actually going to start back up with the Artemis missions. We're pretty much... We're not done with the alternative missions we have in here. Like, I'm going to skip the agricultural research. It's kind of plain and bland, and you just basically go on... Uh, uh, hunt and peck missions basically you go over to this planet pick up some stuff come back go to this planet pick up some stuff come back really kind of boring things uh planet in distress is something we'll cover at another time that is uh, going to get your own um settlement that you can actually become the mayor of if you will so we're going to hold off on that too i'll do that in a special episode later later on uh, computer archives we already understand we're still expanding the base so be it let's move on we need to get to Artemis and find out what's going on, right? So let's get started here. So back to our mission. We need to get some uh, mission targets in another system and space consult the galaxy map. So we're going to go ahead and get that going. My personal vendetta. Yes. Long story on that. All right. Out into space we go. Here we go. Into hyperspace. and Let's see what we've got ahead of us. It looks like it's taking us... Let's see, we got the Atlas Station, got a current mission, which is over there, and the Galactic Core. So we're going to stick to current mission, which is taking us right there. Now, we've been there before, but it's not important that we could have taken a portal or something like that. But let's go ahead and just do the hyperspace thing and check it out. Now, at the time that this is recording, I'm actually watching some other things in my background here. I've got uh, videos going of Jason Blaze, uh, one of the more famous guys who are running over 200,000 subscribers. Fabulous and exciting. But if you like a calmer mission objective here, that's going to be me. This guy has a little bit of a calmer voice, so let's keep it calm, cool, and collected, shall we? It's been a long week, too. All right, so raid the abandoned building for nanites. You nan nanites purchase new technology. Okay, good deal. So it disappeared. Let's do that. We're looking for an abandoned building. Now, if you see one, I'd like you to raise your hand. I'm just kidding. I don't see anything just... Oh, wait, wait. There's one right there. Bet you that's it. I think that's it. Whoops. Let's take it in right here. All right. Oh. Yeah, I think, I think uh, this is it. See, those whispering eggs give us the clue we need. Now, let's take a look at something real quick. We're running at about 3,500 nanites and about 10 million units. Um, how about we gather up some of these whispering eggs? Not sure if I've done that before for you. It's not as dangerous as you think. Uh, let's go ahead and get our life support up to snuff. Uh, we'll use the dioxide. There we go. And look at that, we got some uh, buried technology over there, but we can only get to it when it's inside. So I don't think we can get to it here. I think we're not, yeah, we're not quite close enough. So we'll get to it when we're inside. So here's the eggs. Shoot the eggs with your laser. The um, larval core pops out. You gather it up. Pretty simple. The only problem is the denizens who lay the eggs don't like that. So they're going to try to attack you. They'll shoot spit at you. They'll run into you and damage you. But you know what? It's really not as bad as you think. See? There they go. Look at them. Cute, aren't they? Just keep moving. I hate to sound like a Disney cartoon or something like that, but just keep moving, moving. That's all we're saying here. And just gather up as many as you can. You can gather them up in ones and twos. And as they come around the outside of the building, they're going to get angry with you. That's okay. Just keep moving. Because they can't hit, for some reason, a moving object. Kind of like a stormtrooper. See? Look at that. He jumped right past me. There we go. Whoop, hello. <laughs> Still miss me. Occasionally they will run into you. It is it is what it is. Don't panic. That's all I can say. Hey, buddy. See what he did? He ran into me. Didn't hurt me. We're okay. And occasionally they do knock you for a loop. It is what it is. But we want to gather up as many of these, many of these as we can... Not only are they worth a lot of money, whoops, there we go, they also, you, when you, uh, if you put them into a refiner, will give you nanites, if you want to use them for such. Frankly, I'm a little low on cash right now, I don't know if you noticed. 
All right, that should be it. If you look through your scope and look, you can see if there's any eggs. There's one over there. I missed it. There we go. Got it. Okay. Let's get on top of the facility here real quick just to get out of their way. Take another look. Yeah, we're out of eggs. So how many do we end up with? Ow, holy mackerel, 24? And you see they're worth 700,000 each. So 714... 17, about 1.7 million. So that's actually pretty good. Not bad. Now, and if you're worried about them getting you, I mean, you can shoot them if you wish, but it just prolongs the inevitable. But they will, um, the inevitable is that they will go ahead and leave. I'll collect nanites. I haven't collected any nanites yet. How did I collect nanites? No, I didn't collect any nanites. That's hilarious. We're going to go in and collect them anyway. Let's go inside. They can't attack you inside anyway, so. Uh, you can go here. We got some damaged machinery in here. Let's see what we got. Guess what? We got some nanites out of it, but only 33. Nothing found. Let's go to the corrupted terminal, because that's really where it leads you, and it's just, you know, clear everything off of there real quick, and... Uh, let me read it. Go ahead. Real. Uh, let's see. Returning user identified. Terminal now active. Unlocking data log. Continuation for analysis. Where do the Sentinels come from? No ships are ever seen arriving to deposit them, yet we know they have spatial drives and can appear on any planet. Do they build themselves from resources on the worlds that they infest? Like a mechanoid virus drawing on the host body to metasize new matter? Corvax science speaks of metals in their makeup that should not exist in our age of the universe. No one has ever seen them built. They are simply here, as if the universe expresses them into existence. Analyze the log. It says, I discovered something coded deep inside the long-dead traveler's log. Dead data log. Something has been left that will aid me on my journey. And we got got almost 130 nanites out of it. So that's pretty good. That's a good amount of nanites. Can we get to this thing here? Is it... Within range. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Ha ha. You watch for stuff hanging from the ceiling. Occasionally you have tendrils hanging down and they'll slap you. You don't want that. It just hurts. This will give you a... Usually a boost towards your you know, standing. See, kind of extending increased Corvax. Pick up the stuff while you're here. Might as well. It's free. Uh, if you want to see what's going on, I'll turn on my lamp. Not really much going on in here. And by now, if you look at the radar, nobody's wandering around anymore. All those guys are gone. So, okay. And that's it. That's all they wrote. I'll turn off my light. So there we go. Anything over here for us? Uh, we could gather stuff out of these. Let's go ahead and just take a look real quick. Get the metal, but I'm not going to get it right now. We're not that desperate for... All right. Ion battery. What do we get out of this one? How about a dihydrogen? Gelic Gek Relic. Okay, that's fine. And hang on to the relics. I mean, when, when you're early game and you're trying to get money, that's fine. I can understand selling them. But hang on to those relics and stuff like that, because over time you're going to kind of need them uh, for different missions and stuff like that. And I always keep a stack of them in my inventory. These guys, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of, but just to show you what you get from it, um, I think I have a refiner on me. Yes, I do. Let me show you what happens. I'm going to put these four in here. And you'll see we get some nanites out of it. Let me show you how many. Yeah, that's fine. 200 nanites per one of those. So that gives me two, four, six, 800 nanites real quick, right? So we can do that in 200. Oh, out of the full stack. So you get 50 nanites per. Honestly, it's really not worth it. Because you can get nanites other ways that so much more money. You get so much more out of other ways of getting nanites. So we've got... About 1.7 million, so that's pretty good. We'll go ahead and do that. All right, so what's next on our agenda here? Locate a multi-tool technology merchant. Visit the technology merchant in the space station. Okay, let's do that. It's acting, actually directing us. On some planets, even if you're in the atmosphere, if you hit your pulse drive, yep, it'll just take you out of the atmosphere and head you straight there. So sometimes you don't have to head straight for space. Just depends upon the angle. And sometimes it works. Oh, hey, what do you got, man? Don't shoot him. Everybody will attack you. 
Uh, they appear to be special and unusual items for relic. Ah, uh, no. It's alright, thanks. Okay. Sometimes they trade other items and it's kind of worth it, but not this time. Okay, so we need to locate a multi-tool technology merchant. You'll notice that it was very specific about that. And we're up to 3890 on the nanite scale. So, it's directing us over here. I don't like that cape, man. And over here. Let's see what we get out of this guy. See, now this is part of the storyline, so you're not going to see his wares. He's going to just give you one. The technology dealer is keen to show me their new stock, a powerful modification from a multi-tool. We're going to offer 60 nanites, which should likely give us a C-class. No, it gave us an X-class. Wow, and a Boatcaster one to boot. That's even better. Yeah, look at that, man. That's actually not bad. Uh, let's see. So I do have a Boatcaster, I thought, on here someplace. Yeah, here it is. Um, there. Okay, so what do we got? Plus one. Plus one, plus one. So 115, 1 1.1, and 11. 115, 1 1.5, and 13. 115, 8.0 for clip size, and 11. And then finally, 1, 1 1.0, 2.0, and minus 6. So we're going to get rid of this one. It's not as good. Even though it has a negative 6 reload time, that one has negative 13, and that one has... Oh, it's a burst cooldown, not a... Nice. Yeah, let's go for that one. That'll be good. Now, I could put these off someplace else, but, you know, I don't have any... Let me just check this. Now, I got supercharged slot over here for him, but I think I've got one, two, two supercharged slots over there. But I'm getting 8,000 damage out of this, so that's pretty good. Well, this is a good unit right here. I like it. But it goes with these, so let me just try something here. So 8,000 damage. Let's see what we get from this guy. 67.56. No? Ah, okay. I don't know. I think it actually depends on where we put these guys. So 67.56, 58. 7,000. Just bumped it up. 7,009. That's funny. Makes me wonder. Let me try something here. Experiment. And this is the best way to do it, just so you know. Oh, that's weird. We didn't change anything in this order, and now it's dropped by significant amounts. Does it have to do with these guys? Yes, it does. Ah, I see. It's the type of upgrades. That's what it was. Lining these up in that order. So what if we do this? It literally is making absolutely no difference. That is hilarious. What is that upgrade? Okay, we'll leave it there for now. Let's see how we do with the bolt caster for a little bit. Okay, we're done. So, yeah, and if you go to these merchants, by the way, you can buy the tools and everything like that. But if you go in here, they might have other things. Yeah, I got an A-class neutron cannon upgrade, but, you know, I don't think I'm going to accept it. I'll hold off on that. Okay, good deal. Let's see what they have in the space station. This is just habit. We can get some more ferrite, cobalt, and some other stuff in here. Very interesting. All right. Now, nah, I'm going to hold off. Okay, so I think we're done here. So what's our next step in our objective here? Return to space, contact Apollo. So as soon as we get out there, Apollo should be contacting us. So the journey is going to continue from here. This is the big thing here. Just go for a little bit. There you go. And here we are. You are not alone. I know you, Traveler. I know where you've been. I know where you're going. 
There is no need to hurry. Ask who they are. You will find us when the time is right. Okay. Mysterious. Well, we should be getting a contact from Apollo, right? Oh, there it is. Are you ready? Make sure you are. This job isn't going to be a small one. You might not be heading back to that base of yours for a while. Confirm. Good. Let the hunt begin. I've detected a Corvax installation on that world of yours. The interface in our transmissions is a giveaway. It might be disguised in the style of another species, but don't be fooled. The synthetics delight in espionage. Apollo is robotic. I could have just coughed. I'm not robotic. I was born just like you are. But this is no world for flesh. My brain, what organs I have left, everything was transferred to this shell. This is who I am. Ask how this happened. I took my revenge when the time came. That is all you need to know. So, start from the hypothesis that the Sentinels use these portals to get around. How do they activate it? We need to observe. We need to summon them. Okay, and what better way than to attack a secret Corvax factory? They are both robotic life forms, too much in common, too much coincidence. Enter the factory and hack the terminal within. If we gain data about the Sentinels, good. If not, we'll have summoned enough of them to trace into, trace any energy spikes on that world of yours. The portals will be ours in no time. Download the facility location. Apollo nods at me. For the first time, I sense respect in their gesture. The approximate coordinates for the hidden facility are logged to my state starship's navigation computer. Okay. Uh, right there. Boing! And on we go. Moon of unknown planet. It's a reeking moon. Great. Smelly moon. All right, so as we get close and it's a moon, we're gonna pull back and level out. Once again, we're gonna scan and see if anything shows up. Looks like we got something right there. That can't be it. No, that's not it, that's not it. I know what that is, that might be it. Any sentinels roaming around? We get a free landing pad, so let's just take it anyway. Yep, that's the right place. Okay, we'll just let it go ahead and finalize. Okay. Here we go. Anything we need to see? See, do you see sentinels floating around them? That's when you know you're in the right, right place. How many species we've got on the planet? Eight? That's not bad. Let's see if we can get some of them. That's already three. There's four. Got to watch out for the meat eaters. Five. Where's that four? I don't know. Four out of four. Not the biological entity. That's five. There's six. Uh, seven or eight floating around. That would be interesting, but I guess not. Okay. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's head for the door. Oh, they got a quad. All right. Reload. Let's open the door. Reload one more time. So the quad will try to attack us, and he might be able to see us. Let's gather some stuff. Okay, get some nanites. Okay, good. We're in good shape. I'm going to let them stop searching. I'm not in the mood for a battle right now. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. Okay. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got to clear all this up. What do we need? Sodium. Well, we happen to have some. Ferrite. Pure ferrite, that is, and chromatic metal. That doesn't happen very often. The terminal houses an upgrade module for my exosuit. However, I find few clues for P Apollo. It seems the Corvax within left this world many days ago, apparently recalled on a priority mission to their species flotilla. Something has them worried. Probe the logs. This place seems to have been more than just a factory. It was a home to the Corvax. 
who lived within its walls. It appears that they were experimenting with autonomy from their collective. Examine the feeds. One of the internal sensors recording movement within the facility shows me footage at the vents, uh, footage of the vents at my feet. There is something in here with me. Shine a light on it. I shine a light upon it. Great. Yeah, well, that's what I told you to do. It is a small, hairy creature, shaking and afraid. It cries out. The animal has lived here for quite some time. There is a nest in the corner, vestiges of food upon a small dish, even a few clumsy toys and trinkets. The animal seems to have been a companion to the Corvax. My scanner tells me that the creature is gravely ill. It will die no matter what intervention occurs. Let's feed the animal anyway. I feed the creature. Nervously, it takes the carp and begins to eat. A few moments later, it violently coughs up, coughs up much of its little meal, only to try to continue the process, shivering with every mouthful. I move on from the factory complex, leaving the animal to its fate. I mean, yeah, I could have euthanized it, but you know what? I have a soft heart. I don't like euthanizing pets or anything like that. It bothers me. Too many pets I've lost over time. I'm going to get some of that, because that's always handy stuff. There we go. Why are there red dots everywhere? Why are they attacking me? Oh, looks like we're going to have this out anyway, are we, huh? You know what? I think we need to switch. I'm in a hole. Who shot that at me? You. Who's next? I try to reload in between. Oh, you need to stop. No, you don't. Is there another quad out here already? Okay, what are they doing? Wow, this is a nasty little fight. I'm about to lose some uh, shields here. Got him. This must be new. I must. I wonder if they. I think we're going to go ahead, and they're just coming in really fast now. Yeah, I don't know if I have the firepower to take this guy out, but we're going to try. We did. Who's next? Alright, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to take the high ground. Yeah, I'm going to use a little page out of Obi-Wan's book. Over here. Thank you.
Hi there. Oh, don't want to go down too low. Ah. Okay, we're okay. Hi there. We'll go over here. Gotcha. Got him. Get out of the way of that guy. Oh, caster, it's what we want. Oh, we got him now. Goodbye. Ha <laughs> ha. That should disable the entire network. Nice. Not what I wanted to do. I ain't got a ship flying over. All right, good deal. Well, we're done with this. Not what I expected to have to happen here. Well, let's go ahead and grab the walker brains while we're here. There we go. Got two of them. And always grab your uh, supplies here because they still come in handy afterwards, not just for healing purposes, to bring your shield back up. There's a lot of stuff inside that's very worth it. All right. Anything else? Let's take a look around, make sure I'm not forgetting anything. And just to give you an idea of what we got out of that. So, if you lost some health, the meaty chunks will help. But I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the, the Mordite for now. We got a hard frame engine. Go ahead and hang on to it because you're going to need it later on. Same thing with the quad servo. You need at least one of those, so go ahead and hang on to those. Wiring looms are always handy. I keep them at my ship. Pugnium, always a good item to have. So what do these do for you? They're worth 21000 You could put them into a refiner, but you know what you can do? You can open them up, and they give you certain items out of it, just like I had the upgrades. So I ended up with two exosuit fragments so let's go ahead and put them in here let's see what this one gives us 69 percent more life support 24 23 percent fuel efficiency and this one eight percent more 64 percent solar panel power and 26 percent shield strength sometimes you get one that has um extra life support which is always a good thing i always like getting those um there was one thing we got and i don't see it in here so i'm gonna guess it ended up over here. I don't see it, though. Possibly one of these. But we did end up with another Sentinel boundary map, so that's good. All right, let's put this in my inventory over there. And this is a Sentinel weapon shard. Let's see what it gives us. It's going to conflict with these, but is it better? One damage, minus two reload. Yeah, see? It's not really not that much better. So let's go ahead and just get rid of it. We'll uninstall it, which is going to give us materials like more Pugnium, more Chromatic Metal, and yet another... Well, the computer, I think, was just something else I had in my inventory. We'll hang on to it. Because, you know, it costs materials to build those. You might as well have them. All right. Thinking of screenshots in order. What do you guys think? Oh, great. We got pirates invading. We'll just call this the Unexpected Visitors. Alright. Yep, gotta get out of here. Four of them, huh? You don't want to be caught outside. They will tear you a new one. I don't know. Do I have another laser on my wet on my ship? I don't remember. Rocket launcher, sentinel cannon. Okay, we'll stick to the sentinel cannon. We do not have anything else on it. The rocket launcher takes them out in one shot, usually in normal mode, just so you know. But if you launch those rockets too close to your own ship, you could damage your ship. Keep that in mind. I'll show you. If this guy gets really close, we'll show you. Nope, he ain't. 
done. Try to get a little close because they fix the, you can pick things up from their ship. So, oh, I got a lot of credits for that. Nice. So that worked out nicely. What did we get? We got suspicious packet. Cyclone module. We don't use those, but we can turn it in for nanites. As you can see, it's worth 384. And that gave us a pulse engine module. How nice. Um, let's give it a shot. Uh, where's my pulse engine? I thought that was my pulse engine. Hyperdrive? What is it doing all the way up there? That's weird. Okay. Alright, that's not bad. That's a pretty good mo module. So, 664 hyperdrive range. Doesn't seem to make a difference where I put it. Okay, good. Well, we'll leave it there. We do have to open some of these up just to get some continuity. Okay. What's next on our objective? We used a lot of time on that. Um, Starship communicator must be clear. Plenty. Okay, good. So we got to talk to Apollo. Let's just get out into space real quick. We're already there. Hello, Apollo. What do you have to say? Good work. Your attack on that factory paid off. Did you get any useful data? Uh, no, we didn't. No matter. We have what we need. I recorded countless signal flares when the Sentinel started to appear. Energy streams sparked beneath the planet's surface, moving from monolith to monolith. We must be on the right track. Examine these structures. They are all linked. I know it. I'll attune your scanner to the Sentinel energy signals. We shall soon have our prey. Okay. Good luck. I'll speak to you on the other side. And the communication. Okay, so let's go ahead and... We want to go to Inada. It told us to bring it to Nada. We should bring it to Nada. That gives us more um, nanites and Quicksilver. It introduces you to Quicksilver like we did before, so the more we get, the better off we are. Now, if multiplayer is on, you're going to see a whole bunch of other visitors here. I think I've done that before in previous videos to show you what that was like. It's pretty cool. Um, sometimes other visitors, when you appear, especially if you're a noob inside the anomaly, they sometimes people will hang around and just give you stuff for free. It'll just appear in your inventory. So keep that in mind. Okay. I'm not going to go for the Twitch rewards. We've already got plenty of that stuff. Priest Nada. What new knowledge, Traveler? Is Apollo entity known to you? Explain Apollo's plan. A Traveler entity that is not known to Nada, yet they know Artemis entity who themselves no longer recalls Nada. You bring news that alarms Nada. What else does our home fail to see? Nada looks troubled. They retreat into themselves. Ask what to do. Polo friend has kept us safe. Nada's carap carapace has been Nada's, and Nada's only for many years, outside the cycle of data. We help others escape those who might process our reality. Nada has peace there. I hear. Those who hunt us cannot see us. Nada does not want it to end. But better to understand, to know what comes for us. Do not stop on our account. Okay. So you notice we got 80, and we got another, looks like 150 Quicksilver. No reason to talk to Polo, but you can if you wish. He'll just tell you some stuff. Nada is alarmed by Apollo, Apollo friend. I am not. I am ex it is exciting to see where our model fails. If we go wrong, then there are more friends than we realized. More friends and more stars. So, we're going to ask about the Sentinels. I'm not going to ask about the others right now. Novel Apollo allies himself with the Viking and enjoys to hunt the Sentinels. Good, but it will not work. They will always come. It is beyond us to change. Everywhere our home has been, the hunters will follow. Very interesting, isn't it? So, you, you may not think there's much to the storyline, but the storyline is actually pretty deep. They have all had, um, let me think, hold on, seven years of practice to do this, and they're coming up on their anniversary soon. So, here we go. Continue with Apollo's plan, search for the source of the Sentinel Energy Trace, return to space, begin the search. Here we go. We're out of here. So... Let's do a scan. Form a scan. No I just did that. <laughs> Ley line link detective. Detected. Not detective. Detected. Well. Okay. Thank you. Huh. 
When are you going to show me? <laughs> this way. Here we go. Oh good, daylight side. So this is a planet we've never been to before. Proximate location. So we're looking for a monolith. Uh, looks like we got some shelters down there. Let's get some shelters over there. Now we could search around with our ship. It's hard to tell where it might be. Oh, don't do that to me. I hate when it does that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I grazed it. I do not see it. So I'm going to go up here. We're going to land and we're going to take a look. Right here. Looks like a little uh, thing there, like somebody planted that, but no, it's not. Okay, ready? New planetary record, largest planet. Okay, well, that's good to know. So it says it's 1,200 units that way. So yeah, let me see. Right about that way. So towards that hill there. Directly behind us, of course. Right there. 1,200 units. So it should be at the hill, around this rise. Top of the hill. Near the hill. Another planet on the hill. Anything? Let's take another look. Slowly rotate. Settle down. I see nothing. You lied. Let's land and take another look, shall we? Oh, wait, is that in front of me? No. Now it's saying it's 900 units that way, like a different, like the direction we just came from. All right, we're going to have to do this by, uh, by foot, unfortunately. Yeah, we don't need those. Yeah, I like to... This is just habit. I like to gather these because you never know, right? So obviously it's a hot planet. Now you're saying it's this way. Hey, do we need oxygen? How are we doing on that? Uh, oxygen. 999. Never pass up the opportunity when you're new to the game. You find patches like this, gather them up if you need the resources. Even if you think you're pretty good on them, gather them up anyway because you never know when you might need more. Oh, one more. One more. Thank you. Okay, and they don't bug you. Up to the top of the hill. Now it's saying this way. Alright, let's go this way. Hopefully our ship has... Launch fuel? Yeah, okay. Yeah, we got enough. Okay. That would have stunk. Oh, you know, I think that might be it down there. No? See anything that looks like it? I don't. Wow, it's just ridiculous. I think it's pretty much sending us back the way we came. It's supposedly over this way. Might be over that hill over there. Hmm. Nice. I'll ignore them for now. So what do you think? Down here? I mean, it says it's like right over here. That is just some unburied technology, as I like to call it. No, still over this way. Oh, that's it. It's not even a monolith. That's why I didn't see it. Yeah, I know my thermal protection is falling. That is quite okay. It's a strange looking formation. So we're going to pull in our ship. Okay. 
Okay, here we are. This must be it. Let's find out. If it just gives us nanites or a part... It's over this way, 300 meters. What is going on here? We've been running into this a lot lately that... We are directed and directed and directed, and then it turns out that that wasn't the place we were looking for. Hmm, almost out of phosphorus. I'll use one of the batteries. I forgot I gotta get more. Is there more phosphorus on this planet? Copper, magnetized. What does it say? Yeah, it says it's supposed to have phosphorus. Phosphorus deposit up there, but that's really far away. That's the one we want. Let's head for that. Let's gather up some phosphorus. We really could use some. Sorry, this isn't an ADHD moment. This is a true, hey, we need this moment. Oh, that's not what I thought it was. Okay. Good deal. All right, so that gives us a few hundred here, and that should keep us going for a while. This phosphorus is very, very handy to have. As you see, you can recharge your shields. It usually takes a lot less than using up a battery or something like that, so getting this in your inventory is good. Here we go. So we got about what? About 400 so far? It says 330 up there, but I think we got more than that. I'll take what I can. I'd like to get about 400. That's where I'd like to be. And yeah, it blanked out because we hit some silicate. Alright. No big deal. That should be good. What do you think? I think that's good. It's boring enough. Let's stop. Alright. Now it says it's 400 units that way. Let's go. Three hundred units. Let's wait for our jetpack to recharge and then bump thrust. Whoa, whoa, uh, hole. Now it's sending us this way. What is going on? Why is my light still on? Let's grab that while we're here. All right. Suppose it's 100 units that way, but you tell me. I do not see anything over here at 100 units. Now it turned me to the right again. Oh my gosh. Now, does my ship have enough juice in it? It does. We'll have to recharge it. All right, so here we are. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know what to expect as I approach the structure. An army of sentinels, perhaps? Some gateway through which I'll find Artemis? But in the shifting structure of this monolith, I can feel something else. A story. A vision. It is already burning itself into my eyes. The Traveler. Arrival. The Traveler awoke beneath the shadow of the Red Star. Through the lonely cosmos they fled, yearning for purpose and meaning. They found an anomaly, an aberration, a door to the heavens. No Gek, no Viking, no Corvax could see it. Only the Traveler could perceive the portal, though they did not know how to step through. They did not know the secret language, the glyphs. They did not yet grasp the 
price of the final truth. Witness glyphs. I am filled with the knowledge of an ancient traveler. I see glyphs in my mind, part of the code I need to activate a portal. As I depart, I spot a sentinel drone in the distance. It moves away quickly. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So glyph sets recovered. Escape or destroy the sentinels. So what we can do, we can try to fight them if we wish. But you know what? We've already had that battle, haven't we? Let them search. And don't take anything on. Don't attack anything. Don't try to pick up anything. And we're done. See? That quickly. There we go. Alright, so we're going to pick this up. Let's do that. We'll find the next ley lines. And I think once we get all three ley lines, we'll go ahead and call it. Up this way. Okay, how far away is this one at? Only 30 seconds? That's weird. Expected it to be either on another planet or another area of the planet completely. But hey, you know, I'll take it. Now, if anyone, you, anyone knows me, you know I also like a good permadeath run. So, I'll be getting back to those in the upcoming weeks. You're probably already going to see some by now. Because this episode will be airing later in the month of... That's really weird. It's a mistake. Hi, Mom. I'm underneath a... You know, a place. It's really weird. Okay. A little bit of a graphic glitch there, anybody? Okay, while you're here, grab a few words. Okay, the stone resonates, producing a sound that fills my mind. A vision begins to take shape. A robotic life form turns towards me. Light streams from their metal shell, forming a glowing fog that surrounds us both. They gesture toward me, except knowledge. The name Corvax floats in my vision. An echo of the strange vision I just experienced. A word in this alien tongue is seared into my brain. Corvax. There's another one up here, I believe, someplace. And yet, go figure, there's a Gex statue. And we get Traveler. So that only happens the first time you learn a particular language. And, hey, let's use that phosphorus. Okay, so there's only two on this one. Tribute. Let's see what we get here. Blah, 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 blah. As I approach the structure, I feel that same burning sensation in my eyes. There is nothing to read, and yet I am more aware of these words than anything I've ever known. Activate. The Traveler. Sin. The Traveler found a way. They always did. The first drone screamed when it was cut open. Within the shattered memories of Sentinels, the Traveler found the glyphs they needed. They passed through the gateway, emerging before the face of Omnipotence. The Traveler asked the Atlas how many worlds were left to visit. They had seen so many in their life. They did not wish to die before they saw them, uh, saw them all. And the Atlas answered. Hold on. Eighteen quintillion four hundred forty-six quadrillion seven hundred forty-four trillion seventy-three billion. 709,551,616 planets. More than could be seen in any lifetime. It was impossible to explore the universe before the Traveler died. Um, little pause here in the story. There truly is at least that many systems out there. 18 quintillion planets, it says. If you were to visit every single planet, land and take off immediately. Land, exit the ship, jump in and take off immediately. It would take you over a thousand years. Real life. Visit everyone. So that may make you just sit back and go, what? There's no way anybody could visit all that. That's true. That's true. There's no one that could visit that one. Uh, there's no man that could visit any one place. No woman. No person, no man's sky. But we are more than one. There are millions of people that are playing this. 
millions of people that are playing this game. And with all of us playing, yeah, we've discovered a lot of worlds. And you know what? It's really cool to discover that world that no one else has seen, that one system, and that you can put your name on it and say, this, this is mine. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah, think about it. It's a beautiful world we live in, or that we're playing in and that we live in. So let's take care of both of them, shall we? Witness the glyphs. I am filled with the knowledge of an ancient traveler. I see the glyphs in my mind, another piece of code. I think of the atlas. I have encountered this name many times in my travelers, travels, yet its true nature still eludes me. The vision fills me with fear. Oh yeah, it should. So you'll notice it says the traveler opened their eyes and did this and did that. It's not talking about you. It's not talking about Apollo. It's talking about someone else, the original traveler. And that original traveler has done quite a bit and you will meet them. Up we go. Another scan. Tracing to source. That way. Where to? How far? Only 15 seconds away. Really weird. And there it is. So what are we visiting this time? Ah, one of these, yes. And look, I got some phosphorus right there if I wanted some. Eh, oh well. Okay, so this one has always has three of these on it, so grab all three when you can. We've got entity. Is. Yeah, you'll, you'll learn smaller words as well. It's important. And then finally, the. Oh, very important word. Okay. Let's see what this one has to say. I'm not going to read that. Everything here is tinted with that same red, the same unobservable crimson that fills my vision when I blink. I can only hope the structure holds the final glyphs, that my trial at these ruins is nearly over. Activate. The Traveler, a purpose. The Atlas told the Traveler they were the first of their kind, that a multitude would follow, each would be endowed with the same noble soul, each able to travel from planet to planet in eternal solitude. That's us. The first traveler rejected the gift of the atlas. This was not what they hoped for. What was the purpose of infinity if they could not see it all? All if you were alone, if you would one day die. The first traveler cursed the atlas and claimed that they would find a way to survive no matter the cost. All of these worlds, all of time itself, it would be for the travelers to witness. Witness glyphs. I am filled with the knowledge of an ancient traveler. I see the final glyphs in my mind, the final portion of the code. So there you go. You learned a little bit of a headway as to what is happening here. Who is the traveler? Let's go ahead and fill that up. Oh yeah, look at that. Uh, we'll use one of these. Okay, there we go. So that is our traveler. Yeah, I know. I had to refuel that. What's my next step, please? Hello? Alright, we have to get it going. Locate and activate a port. Ah, okay, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Scan. This way. How far away? Okay, a little bit too long to travel free time. Because we're nearing the end of our episode. So we're going to get through this portal. And figure out where we're going. Yeah, it's a little quicker, wasn't it? A little bit steep, but that's okay. And you'll notice it's pinpointing it. It's not giving us an approximate location because we're following the specific ley lines. And there, my friends, is a portal. You will find these on many different systems. There's usually at least one per system. And the glyphs, the 16 glyphs, well, the 16 glyphs you will learn lead to this. So here we are. Ruins of this place. Usually you have to repair the first one. Once you repair it, you never have to repair it again anymore. Traveler anomaly confirmed. Breach, breach, breach. I approach the portal. I think of every passing thought, an idle wish, and idle wish that led me to this moment. Within this gateway, I might find Artemis. I might find the source of the Sentinels. I might find a whole new universe. But it is more than this. This is not fate. 
I'm making a choice, a leap of faith that somewhere out there in the dark, I will find who I'm meant to be. Input the glyphs. I step forward, not knowing what I will find on the other side, but I feel it deep in my heart, the call towards a deeper truth. This will be the start of everything. Deep. And see if this reminds you of something. Yeah, right? I know what it reminds me of. I'm sure you do too. All right. Here we go, through the portal. But before we do, what sh let's say... We get a nice picture of this. There we go. I think that's a nice picture. There we go. Okay. And we got it. Let's head on. And this will be the final moments of our episode. So this is what it looks like stepping through the portal. Lots of noise. Crackling on occasion. Now, I don't know if we end up on a planet and we stay there or if our ship comes with us this time or not. But usually if you step through a portal like this, your ship will follow. But just go with the storyline. Trust me, you'll be all right. All right. We do not have a ship here. So this is going to be temporary. You can take a look around. Not bad. So you notice at the bottom, warning, anomalous signal detected. I'm not going to be permitted to stay here. I'm going to see if I can get these before I disappear. Yep, they're taking me out. Here we go. Hey, alright, those are handy to get. Take a look around. Here you go. Hear it? Hear it? And where do we appear? Inside the atlas. There's our atlas, folks. If you've never seen it before, it's kind of crazy looking, isn't it? The distortions in time. Now hit these two pedestals over here. They give you some warp cells. They're very nice. Let's talk to the Atlas. Now, if you want to, those little globules on the floor, you can get those and they'll teach you language words. Not all of them carry one for the Atlas. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. I'll show you. They'll disappear as you approach them. And every now and then, one will teach you a word. I can get one to do it, but you're going to run out of run juice while you're doing it. Oh, there was one up there on the platform. Taught me the word traveler. So you can wander around. They're not going to kick you out of here. You can just keep wandering around. So this one that I absorbed walking underneath it, it gave me the word traveler. There's only a couple left. Now, as you go to further ones, you're going to discover that they have more and more of these things, and they're going to teach you more and more words. And sometimes you can learn the entire Atlas language. Last one. Nope, no more words. You just weren't at learned the words Atlas and Traveler here. Okay. All right. The text blinks before me. It awaits and ask who this is. I could have just said hello. Hello, world. An audio recording plays, echoing out across the vast interface. We were once travelers. We once aspired to more than dirt and dust. The audio clicks. Time passes. Show me a world, Atlas. Show me something no one has ever seen before. The voice ends. The interface grows still and silent. It awaits a command. So you're not hearing the Atlas. You're hearing a recording of someone else. Right? Okay, hang on just a second here.
All right, there we go. Sorry about that. Okay. Perform diagnostic or wipe the system. Let's just do the diagnostic. It has been... Wow. 1,946,218,921,221 years since last diagnostic. 64% of the world's operating within expected parameters. Now, that's not too bad. It's 36% failure rate, so I'm really not keen on that. But you know what? That sounds like your IT department has kind of been a little bit lax. Anyway... 2,611,384 actionable observations awaiting analysis. Subroutine sentinel. Status error. Null value. Ooh, pay attention to that. Subroutine glass. Status operational. 4,182 breach attempts. Interesting. Keep that, uh, that word in mind. Glass. Okay. That's a sub um, mission series that we've just been experiencing lately. Subroutine traveler. That's us. Status operational. Thank you. 458 critical error warnings. Wait a minute. Exomind structural integrity compromised. What? Immediate repairs required. Hold on. Initiate personality interface. Sure, why not? Traveler. Yep. Reality fades. Everything does. My body, my voice, my soul. All of it speaks to me. The atlas stands before me in all its might. I want to ask about Artemis. I want to... Something is happening to me. I need to get out of here. I need to... Hmm. Scream, rejoice, or submit. I am going to do something different. I have submitted, I've screamed, let's rejoice this time. Yay! I try to rejoice, but I have no body, no spirit. What? So we could leave if we wanted to, but guess what? It's kicked me out. So let's see where I end up this time. Crazy, isn't it? The sounds. Remember, seven years going, this game is just amazing sometimes. Where were you over an hour? Sorry about the delays before. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, we're on a planet. Nowhere. Let's see, let's take a look at our stuff here. Looks like everything's in working order. Multi-tool. Excellent. Okay, we're okay. Um, pretty interesting. Um, we have no idea what world we're on. Let's check out some of the wildlife. One of six. There we go. Two of six. Anybody else out there we can discover? I don't think so. You know what? I'm not going to worry about it. Let's get to our ship and find out what's going on. Oh, okay. Well, let's get over here. It's all the way over there. So it shoved me onto a planet. And put my ship like 500 blocks away. Hey, I'll take some. Thank you. And gone. There we go. Gather stuff as you go. All right, when we get back to the ship, this is going to be pretty much it. See, it, does this look neat or what? I mean, does it look really familiar to you? Does it look like we're doing this all over again? Very interesting, right? What's in here? Let's see, iteration. Deleted boundary, boundary separation failure likely. Vessel 16 empty. Cause and sentinel intervention. Deliberate transfer. Sounds familiar, right? Analysis. Fresh iteration generated. Anomaly containment prepared. Let's broadcast. Broadcast received. Traveler anomaly detected. Anomaly is compliant. Position log. System integrity scan initialized. Okay. So I was compliant at this point. So I'm going to gather up some things while I'm here. Oh, we can get that now. That's right. Get a little bit of sodium. And uh, where's that piece of technology? There we go. Buried technology. We'll get that. There we go. Gather it when you can. You'll get two to four of them, so it's worth having. Okay, and we're back to our ship. Let's recharge that because it needs it. Uh, we can use that. Let's recharge this with ammonia. Okay, we're good. And we're back to our ship. I escaped to my ship, glad of something familiar in this strange world. 
Where has the portal taken me? I was caught in the gravity of that infernal machine, not strong enough to resist. It identified itself as Atlas, the entity so many worship and fear. I saw no sign of Artemis, no trace of Sentinels. Why did I even step through that gateway? Why did I follow this path? Well, to rescue Artemis. That's what we really wanted to do. It wasn't to kill Sentinels. We've already done that. And that's because I can, really, we were going to rescue Artemis. Is that true? Or is it just a lie I tell myself? The kind of thought a noble person might have. Artemis was need, in need of assistance, but did I really risk my life just for them? There is something more, some other yearning. As I stare at the console, an opportunity presents itself once more. There is an inbound transmission emerging from location on this very planet. Okay, we're getting communication. You are not alone. The signal appears to be coming from the very system. This very system, using the same words that led me to Artemis so long ago. Could it be them? Did Artemis meet the Atlas as I have? Okay. Where to? Um, it's, it's, we're damaged? Wait a minute, I didn't know that. I didn't see anything damaged. You see anything damaged? Hmm. Beg to differ, my friend. Okay. But we are going to go ahead and do this real quick, because this should be the actual end, and I think this will give us the information we've been looking for for a little while now, as into the fate of Artemis. So, let's see what happens. Oop. Um, did we pass it? Well, that's interesting. Kind of vanished. You did notice that too, didn't you? Let's land right here and take a peek. Maybe it will give us a clue. Nope, that way. Alright. We, uh, we know we got plenty of juice in there. And I'm going to watch that radar up at the top, because I have a funny feeling we're going to see something very interesting in a couple moments. Uh-oh. hate when that happens. Look! Up ahead. we got to get up to the side of this. There we go. Okay. So it's over this way somehow. Again, watch our radar at the top. I got a funny feeling you're going to see something interesting pop up in a moment. Over here. Looks like it's down here. Oh, there it is. See? Let's see what we found. It's right up there. And there's the Atlas thing that just popped up on front of it. Let's pull in our ship. So what is this? This is called an unknown grave and it says Artemis. So you've just learned a truth. I the source of the signal. A hologram appears. It is Artemis, but there's only silence. The slow pulse of cosmic noise in the signal. Ask if they're all right. If Artemis can hear me, they make no sign. The hologram just stares. It's strange, but I feel a sense of deja vu as if I've been here before. Right at this very moment. Ask what they are. As I move closer, the Artemis projection begins to speak, their words punctuated by strange static. They came, watched closely. Machines. Murderers. Against the... The voice falls silent. The projection looks at me. Something is very wrong. Scan the hologram. I scan the hologram. It bears the exact same signature as every other transmission I've received from Artemis. There is no ulterior source for the signal. Everything they have said appears to have come from right in front of me. As I stand here, Artemis begins to speak. We are called them, but still beloved. Anomaly. They nada below watching us. Tracking. Mistake. 
abandoned, but it wasn't through the portal. Please don't trust. I'm afraid. Aren't comfort. The projection fizzles away to mere static. The echo is all that is left of the entity known as Artemis, a grave of glitch data trapped in a sunless reality. My friend is dead. They're never alive. I must tell a little what I've seen. So you've learned a truth here. You've learned the truth of Artemis. Artemis is dead and has been for quite some time, apparently, and you're only just now realizing it. Now, you may think to yourself, of course, well, what was the point of this whole mission? Well, the mission isn't really about Artemis. It's really about you, the traveler, and learning more about who you are as a traveler and who all the travelers are and how this began and where will it end. So we're going to address some of those issues in the next episode, and I want to thank you all for watching. And keep smiling, everybody. Always be kind when you can. Never criticize kindness. Be true in everything you do, especially with yourself, because that's where it starts. Take care, everybody.